Hi, I'm Theo. Here's a very quick tip about how I build the arms of a puppet. So, the whole arm here is basically one long piece of webbing that has to be long enough to end about here. So, all this from here to a point in the middle is glued in and here where the arm starts there is about one centimeter of webbing that has nothing above or below and that's what really makes the joint where the arm can rotate freely. The shoulder is attached to the arm, not to the body. And how that works is I will cover the whole body in fur and I will also do that with the arm. And then I will sew the edge on the fur, which has to be a bit about one centimeter longer than the edge here of the foam. I will sew that to the fur of the body. So it is attached from about here to here, right where the webbing is. And that's all what holds it in place. This means it will not move too freely, so um, you cannot no longer do this. Uh, the, the fur underneath here will block that, but because it is foam, it is flexible, so you still have a wide range of motion, and uh, by placing it a little bit forward when you sew it on, you make sure that if the second puppeteer that plays the arm rod lets go of the arm rod, uh, the arm will not dangle in the back. So it will always be in front um, and that makes it a lot easier to play the character. Uh, second what I want to tell you is all the webbing here is glued in. So. Uh, I usually use some hot glue on the whole thing and then slide the pipe insulation over it so it is glued on the whole inside but of course only on one side. The other side here is free and I do not stick anything in here. Um, I want to make it as light as possible. Uh, the part here at the joint uh, is mostly used so it cannot go too far in the wrong direction. So this is the direction where you want to bend the arm and the end here that has to be glued to the hand, right up to the middle finger. So if anybody pulls on it, he will pull on the whole webbing going right to here. And uh, that will be stable. And I do reinforce this part here around. That makes it very tough and it will not easily rip the foam. And that brings me to the last part here. This on the back side does also connect 
to one strip of webbing that goes through the whole body and that's what the puppeteer mostly uses to push and pull the puppet uh, on the arm during the show so this part has to be reinforced uh, the neck part part can be reinforced but you really don't have to do that um, it just adds extra weight that's it for now bye bye